Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about formatting type in Adobe Illustrator. Um, let's pick up the T tool and click here. Um, as you see, Illustrator will put a placeholder text there. I'm going to zoom in. Uh, we would like to uh, format this type and uh, learn how to do this in Adobe Illustrator. You need to pick up the T tool, click here once, and then highlight it. Now, um, if you take a look at the options bar, we have two panels that appear here, the character and paragraph panels. I'm going to work with character panel for the moment. Let me just move this a little bit to the side. so. You can see it better. There you go. So the font family itself is here. Uh, I have chosen Marriott Pro, or that was actually the default font. Um, I can just change it, for instance, to Georgia. There you go. And here in this uh, drop down menu, you have access to regular italic, bold, and bold italic. I'm going to use italic. Uh, this one is the font size. There's also a tooltip if you hover over these, it tells you what it is. You can click here and increase or decrease the font size. Um, the rest of them are, or some of them are basically for paragraph um, formatting. So I cannot tell you this one right now. Letting, that's, uh, that happens when you have more than one line. I'll get back to it in a minute. But this one, we have kerning and tracking. So tracking is the space between all the characters. I can just go here and type, choose 100 for instance. So you see all these letters are separated. Um, you can go back and put in zero. But kerning is the space between two letters. So in order to do that and use kerning you can go between two letters put the cursor in here and then go here and play around with that number so you see it created some space here now well I'm going to highlight this again you see uh, one of the thing is anytime I'm using this uh, character panel it actually collapses itself but don't forget we also have access to it here in the panels I can just grab this bring it here and open par uh, character panel. There you go. So now it stays there. Uh, we can also change uh, or scale the font vertically or horizontally. This is not a recommended thing to do with font. It actually distorts the font, but I'm going to demonstrate it. Uh, for instance, let's do it vertically. I'm just going to change this to 150%. So as you see, it vertically stretches the font. It does not look good and professional at all. But, uh, and this is not something we do in typography. But uh, if you ever needed it, you know what it is. Uh, let's switch back to 100%. Uh, I would like to type another line. And uh, highlight these two lines. And now I'm going to go here where it says letting. Letting is the space between two lines or between lines if you have more than two. Um, it will be adjusted accordingly when you change the font size. So that's why it's on auto. I'm going to go to 24, 21, and I like the fact that it's actually giving me a preview before clicking on this. I'm just going to choose 14 for the sake of the example. Um, we also have a couple more things. You can rotate text here if you wanted to. Again, this is not something very common. So as you see, something really weird happening. But if you wanted it, that's how it goes. Uh, we also have uh, set the baseline shift. You can change the baseline sh uh, sh or shift the baseline of the font. I'm just going to highlight this M, for instance. And as you see, we can do this. It could be super helpful when you're using, uh, when you're basically doing math or you're using any numbers and you want to do power 
or anything similar to that. We have a few things here as well. Uh, this one is all caps. I'm going to highlight this and click on all caps. So they all turn to capitals. We have small caps. We have superscript and uh, subscript. Let's play around with it here. I'm just going to type number two, highlight it. That's superscript. And I can also type, let's get rid of this, and I'm going to type TM for trademark. Highlight it. I can do it subscript here. All right, and we also have underline and strike through. So let's take a look at those. Let's highlight this one. That's underlining. And this is strike through. We also have access to this drop down menu, which allows you to switch to another language if you want to. Okay, let's get rid of this. Now with the type tool, click and drag. As you see, unfortunately, everything you've done uh, with the uh, all the adjustment you've um, made to the character panel, they will be applied to this new paragraph as well. Um, I'm going to highlight the whole thing by pressing Control A or Command A on Mac, and um, I'm going to click on this little menu on character panel and go to reset panel that will bring everything back to uh, the default so I, I'm back to Myriad Pro 12 points font size etc. Alright so now I would like to work with a paragraph panel uh, might as well let's switch there right now so we do have the alignments here align to the left, align center, align to the right justified and justify with last line align center justify with la last line align right and justify all lines some of them might not work with uh, the sentence um, depending on what you have here and um, I'm going to select it and go back to align to the left it's easier to look at it um, we do have left indentation so you can create some padding here we do have right indentation as well we have a first line left indentation which only indents the first line and also the last one which is space before the paragraph so it creates some space space before if you had two more paragraphs two or more paragraphs and we also have this one which is a space after the paragraph so if you happen to have several several paragraphs, you can use these two as well. Um, and that's about it. Uh, this is basically how to work with uh, character and paragraph uh, panels in Adobe Illustrator. And with these two panels, you can simply um, format text in any way you want. If you wanted to change the color of the font, you can highlight the text and do so here under Options bar. Just going to ch change it to blue. There you go. Um, one last thing before I forget. Uh, sometimes you see there's a plus sign here. There's a red plus sign. That basically means there's overset text. Because I changed the font size here, there's some more text here in this box that's left alone here on the, in the bottom. I can stretch this box to, to see the sh rest of them. And as soon as I do that, that will disappear. That basically means that this is um, there's no more overset text left in this box. Uh, there's one more thing you can do with it. So let's go back and I'm going to just move this a little bit here. Uh, you can also click on this uh, plus sign and then click and drag to create another text box. This is called threading so it basically creates two different boxes and connects these together. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, let me just stretch this a little bit more. Okay, so if I resize this one, the first box, 
the rest of the text is going to be flown into the next box. So these are although these are separate boxes, but they are connected. This is uh, quite a useful thing uh, when you're doing uh, brochure design or um, things in that nature as well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.